हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी आर डूइंग क्वेश्चन आंसर्स ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर नाइन मदर बेस कॉल क्वेश्चन ए आंसर दीज क्वेश्चन वन वॉट डेड एवरी वन इन द फैमिली डू वेन दे सॉ द चिल्ड्रन ब्रिंगिंग अ बियर कप आंसर इज वेन एवरी वन इन द फैमिली सॉ द चिल्ड्रन ब्रिंगिंग इन अ बियर कप दे वर सरप्राइज मारिया अनाउंसड इट टू द फैमिली Aunt Susan came downstairs, and old Uncle stirred in his hammock. He commented on the calf's diet that it could not be kept alive on mere fingers. Question number two: How did Aunt Susan and Aunt Rose treat the beer cup? Answer. Aunt Susan and Aunt Rose treated the beer cup with love. They brought him a bottle of warm milk for his dinner and fed him as the family gathered around to watch. Question 3 Why did Aunt Susan say a little bear is a little dear? Answer is Aunt Susan said a little bear is a little dear. because after having his dinner the beer cub stretched himself and rolled over on the grass and looked so good natured that it seemed that he was laughing question 4 where was the beer cub put to sleep what happened after he was left alone answer is The beer cub was put to sleep in a shed on a little truss of hay under an old blanket. After he was left alone, the beer cub began to whimper for his mother. Number 5. Why could the children not hear the beer cub whimpering? Answer is The children could not hear the beer cup whimpering because they had gone to their beds and were sound asleep. Question number 6. What was the reaction of the family as they heard the uproar? Answer is When the family members heard the uproar, they woke up, got out of their beds and rushed to the windows of to look outside question number 7 what did pincher tell the children answer is the pincher told the children that mother bear was desperately looking for her cub she was demanding the family to give him back or she would eat their babies she had smelt her cub all the way to the shed the cub was very smart according to his mother he only ate blackberries the mother bear could not lend him for she wanted to get him fat before they went into hibernation then She scolded the cub that he could not stay put for even 5 minutes. She had gone to get him honey when he was taken by the children. She threatened the family that she would not leave so much as their aprons if the cub was not returned to her. and she would box ellie's and essie's ears for good measure she would also tear down the place if they did not let her cub go question 8 how did mother bear feel when she saw her cub answer is when mother bear saw her cub she seemed relieved and ecstatic She stood off on her hind limbs hind legs for a moment then she fell on the cub like an avalanche held him in her arms and licked him from top to toe 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर बी रेफरेंस टू कॉन्टेक्स्ट वन वाट विल दे डू नेक्स्ट ए हु सेड दिज वर्ड्स वेयर वॉज द स्पीकर आंसर इज ओल्ड अंकल सेड दिज वर्ड्स ही वॉज ऑन अ हेमॉक क्वेश्चन बी हु डज दे रेफर टू आंसर इज दे रेफर्स टू द ट्विंस एली एंड एसी क्वेश्चन नंबर सी What had they done? Answer: They had brought a beer cup home. Question: Reference number two: The poor mother. Question A: Who said these words? Answer: Aunt Susan said these words. Question B: Who is the poor mother? What was she doing? Answer is. Mother bear is the poor mother. She was roaring and growling in search of little cub. Question C. What did the speaker do with the bear cub? Answer. Aunt Susan let the bear cub go. She took the cub, opened the shed door a crack and pushed him through. Reference 3. If you foolish children don't go to sleep I will call mother bear back A Who is the speaker Answer is Uncle Billy is the speaker Question B What were the children doing Answer The children were talking about me mother bear and little brown Question C What was the reply given they heard the above words Answer is when they heard the above words the children asked uncle billy if he could really call mother bear back and that they wished he would Thank you